There are about a bajillion uses for iCord, and if you've never worked it before, it's kind of confusing, but I think it's called iCord as short for idiot cord. I think it was Elizabeth Zimmerman who gave it that name. And this is what it looks like. You can make it different widths by using more stitches or fewer stitches. This is a four stitch I-cord. I'm going to show you how to work it. You have to use double pointed needles for this. And uh, you can cast on four stitches. The cast on is the same as what I have going here in the work. So it's really nothing different. <clears throat> I'm going to, um, let me show you how this is going. My working yarn is coming from this stitch here but I'm not going to turn the work. I'm going to slide the stitches over, the working yarn is coming from the wrong side, and I'm going to knit across the row, pulling that first stitch tightly. Oops. Okay, I finished that row, my working yarn's coming from the last stitch there, I'm not going to turn the work, I'm going to slide the stitches back over to the other end. Pull that first stitch tightly because it's coming all the way from over here to the first stitch. Now my working yarn is here, not turning the work, sliding it over to the other end, and that's the pattern. And as I do it, I usually give it a good tug, and that helps even the stitches out so there's no gapping on the back of the work. And that's I-cord, easy as can be. Thank <laughs> you.